Hello Udemy, I am Shazad Ahmad from ShikZ.com and uh, welcome in lecture number 22. Today we are going to continue the grid systems because we are working on the grid systems inside the CSS sections. Make sure we are working on CSS series. Why? Because before starting uh, Bootstrap 4, you have to familiar with Bootstrap 3. So that's why we are working on Bootstrap 3. So in the previous lectures, you learned how can uh, you place your rows inside the container and how can you place your columns inside the rows and uh, I, you learned how can uh, you create or how can you define your columns structure inside a single row so you also learned every row consists of 12 columns so you have to complete the 12 columns while uh, you are defining a single row this is the 12 column this is four column four column four column with a single row you can see we have uh, three 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 six and six column here we have eight four column here we have one column one 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 and this is six column so in this way you can create the columns they have for suppose you can see you are using the container it's starting from here to here for suppose if you need a full width controller container what you need I'm saying container container fluid refresh the page so now you can see your your screen is now 100% okay so this is your 100% you can go to your container fluid now you can see it's now it has a hundred percent width okay so now you can see they have padding right padding left okay you can see they have a padding you can see here they have a padding left 15 pixel they have a padding right 15 pixels by default okay because the margin is auto margin left is auto you can also modify your container by giving a custom class so don't worry we are going to use uh, the container now okay refresh the page i'm saying container refresh the page so you have a container so mobile first desktop they are saying mobile first desktop and they are saying mobile tablet and desktop so we are going to learn mobile tablet and desktop so i'm going to explain each and everything so don't worry about it make sure i have now a single container make sure inside a single container this is the rule that you have to create a row then this is the rule You need to create a column md12 for suppose go to your page refresh the page so now you have a container i'm saying so this is a 12 column make sure why it's 12 column because you have defined the 12 column first of all and you have added you are adding a custom class which we have created in, in our previous lecture in this class we have a border we have a height 12 200 pixel because uh, in the in this column we don't have any component or any HTML style any HTML content so that's why we gave the height now we are saying that there are devices available nowadays for suppose we have large devices I have a 32 inch led right now that means this is the large device okay if you have the four one thousand four hundred forty pixels screen okay that means this is the medium size devices okay if you have 768 plus devices for for suppose you have a 768 width that means these devices are the 
small devices and what are the extra small devices make sure uh, for suppose uh, if you gsm arena for suppose your low level uh, android devices uh, like uh, $100 for suppose i am uh, opening the nokia so these devices are the extra small devices so you can see this device is extra small and extra small extra small extra small and you can see this is the extra small device and this is the extra small device and uh, many devices are extra th this is extra small devices so you can specify your columns for suppose i'm saying please this column whenever someone access this page this column consists of for suppose call md not md i am saying lg 12 on the large screen we are saying this column is the 12 make sure i am saying i am going to add on the medium devices i am saying this this column is fourth four column for suppose and i am saying when someone open this file this html file this uh, on uh, the small devices i am saying this sm this column automatically converted from 12 and from this column to 12 column for suppose or i am saying uh, this is 4 we have 4 4 i am saying if someone access from the extra small devices then i am saying call sm i am saying this is 12 okay so 12 means 100 percent go to your page refresh the page so now you can see this is the 32 inch led that's why it's uh, creating or it's showing the fourth column but when you open this on the laptop you can see this is the small device you can see now it's consider considering that this is a small device when you open so that's why it's converting from fourth column to 12 column make sure when you open this on low level devices which is iphone 5 because uh, 30 uh, 320 width so now you can see you have 12 columns okay so now i am saying when someone open this file uh, uh, using a uh, okay this is not smile this is extra small okay so you have lg for suppose call lg4 call md4 call sm12 call s xs12 means lg means large devices md means medium devices your uh, laptops okay sm means extra small devices like your uh, iphone 7 iphone uh, for suppose 8 or 10 or x whatever or extra small devices uh, like your asha series in nokia and uh, low level devices so that means you are saying whenever someone open this file inside a large devices this column is showing the 12 four column medium four column extra small four column and extra small 12 column so that's why we have a small we have a large device right now it's showing four column when you have a for suppose when you have okay now it's the medium when you open this on a low level device small devices like 
iPad or laptop it's showing 12 whenever you want to open on low-level devices it's showing 12 for suppose you are saying when someone open this on a low-level devices you can show the sixth column refresh the page so now you can see we are opening our file on a low-level devices it's showing the six column and six column is remaining okay so in this way you can create the mobile they are saying mobile tablet and desktop by adding the call sm static that means one two three four five six which column you are going to specify so you can see they are saying copy this content paste this content here for suppose go to your page refresh the page so now you can see you have a, a row whenever someone access this on a extra small devices uh, it's showing you the six column this is six column and make sure you have completed the 12 columns and whenever someone access this from the small devices uh, you can see uh, it's automatically converted from the six to four column now go to your page refresh the page it's showing this uh, whenever you want to access in a laptop it's showing this whenever um, you can access in a small devices you can see it's doing this because extra small defined six six column and this is the extra small screen so six column here six column here and uh, you can see extra small six column and because we have a single row so that's why it's working like this so you can uh, create your columns like this in a single controller but you always create you always uh, create your 12 uh, columns inside a single row so it's totally depend upon you uh, it's totally depend upon your requirements and it's totally depend upon your uh, work how you are working or not so uh, you can see it's responsive now it's a responsive template just a second so you don't have a scroll inside here so you have a fully responsive page right now so it's totally depend upon you uh, either you are reading the complete documentations from the official websites or not uh, but your uh, your grid system uh, is working like this in the next lecture we are going to continue our grid system so you can easily understand what's going on because uh, we are creating three three to four lectures um, on grid system because it's necessary and it's the backbone of uh, bootstrap if you have not understand or if you are not uh, understanding these concepts so it's very difficult to generate or create the responsive website or templates using bootstrap so thank you for watching